Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining back in for the Deebrook School of Law. Now, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for asking about me. I know that there were several of you that were doing so. And um, the doctor said that my back is much better now. And, you know, there were some other problems, but he thinks that was just about a gas. So, so we're good and we're ready to move on. And we're gonna take, we're gonna, we're gonna head back to Wisconsin, and go back to Mr. Brooks's trial. Now, what we are about to watch are pieces of when Mr. Brooks was questioning most of his witnesses. Now, keep in mind that sometimes when he will examinate someone that the prosecution can also turn around and cross-examinate them okay so sometimes you might see some pieces in there where the prosecution comes back and tries to frustrate mr brooks and and degrade his the witnesses testimonies and all that but we're not you know what we're not going we're just not going there i think this is piece um for those of you who have been following the Sovereign Citizens Manual um, of Mr. Brooks D. Brooks School of Law, and again, you can get those online. Um, you're just going to have to download them because Mr. Brooks doesn't have a way to print them, okay? Because um, he's, you know, <laughs> he's in prison. So, let's see. We have, um, I think this is piece 427. Let me look back. Let me look back. Hang on just a moment, everyone, please. Oh, you know what? This might be piece 542 from your D. Brooks School of Law manual, um, the Sovereign Citizen uh, section. So, um, without further ado, let's get to it. And I can tell you, on this day, Mr. Brooks, he was in full form. Just, just full form. He was ready to go. <laughs> Can I have a first name for this witness, please? It's Abel, Abel but I, I believe it's pronounced a different way. It's A-B-E-L. The defense may call its next witness, please. Quick question before I do, who's supposed to be arriving at 3.30? Just saw, just saw it now. I'm not sure. Babyitz and Urell will be here at 3.30. Mr. Liscano is here now, Your Honor. Thank you. I knew he was here now. Just trying to get clear. Are you going to call Mr. Liscano? Uh, it would appear so. He's the one who's here. All right. Then he may. Defense is calling Abel Liscano, correct? The defense is calling uh, a bell, a bell, a bell, Lascano. All right. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Lascano. Um, what do you do for a living currently? I'm a hairdresser. No judgment whatsoever on this question. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Yes, I have. And how many times? Seven. Do you recall, to the best to the best of your knowledge, it's been a little bit, um, the driver of the vehicle you observed was honking his horn, was it gesturing to people? Uh, yes. And uh, what, what did you see? What did you see the, the gesturing as? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Um.
Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Your witness. Just one second. Except for value and return for value, this document for a record. <sighs> Good afternoon, Mr. Hayes. Is, is that how you pronounce Hayes? Yep. Did you speak to the complainant of the domestic allegations at that time? Objection. Um, the use of the word complainant. Um, Sustained as to the form of the question. And what did you tell her? I don't remember. You just used the name Mr. Brooks for the first time that you've been testifying. Would that be fair to say? I don't understand your question. Is that part of Main Street close to like a, a, a side street? Um, if, you, if you recall. It's not too far from Maple. Do you recall the side streets uh, being barricaded during the parade? Yeah, I don't remember. Anything unusual catch your eye that day that you recall? Yes. And... A bell. A bell, thank you. A bell. Subject matter jurisdiction, Your Honor. The court declines to address that. Still has yet to be verified and proven for the record. Your objections noted for the record. Do you want Mr. Lascano on the stand or are you going to call Mr. Hayes first? Just so I know what to do when he comes in. Currently, have, I can't find paperwork for Mr. Hayes. Can a police report or something be provided in case I want to call Mr. Hayes first? Yes, we will accommodate that request. It'll just take me a minute, Your Honor, to find it. I'll have to have it printed and brought over. Did you get a license plate number in the vehicle? Your 90611, move on to a new topic, please. Sir, prior to the red SUV coming through your group, did you ever hear a horn honking? Objection. Overruled. You may answer, sir. Objection. Hearsay. It's not hearsay. I, I personally hearsay. didn't, but... That's fine. Well, sometimes things just don't turn out the way we expect them. And that might be what happened with Mr. Brooks in some of these pieces. I think sometimes his witnesses got the best of him, and he was really trying to get the best of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, what can I say? I, I, I'm not sure why they wanted to put this part in the manual. I'm just going to be honest with you. I think that some of this should have been taken out, but Mr. Brooks said no. We're going to leave it all in because everything he says is important for all of you uh, to know so that when you get ready to defend yourself under whatever criminal charges that you have, you will be able to go back to these videos and just, you know, zero in on the pieces that, that ring true to you. You know what I mean? So, um... Again, I want to thank you all for watching, and I think we have a couple more we're going to be dropping later on in the week. Now, I'm not pert I'm, I'm not certain of that. Mr. Brooks' schedule is really up in the air. Sometimes he likes to sleep, <laughs> and sometimes we can get him out of his jail cell and um, get him over to that computer, but we'll just see. I'm not real sure uh, what's going on there. I know he has trial later on in the week with Miss Erica, and he's real excited about that. 
he's been thinking about that for a real long time. So, um, listen, everyone, y'all have a wonderful week, and just keep reading and studying your manuals, and um, I'll put some homework together for you all, and I'll put that at the end, okay? Y'all be well. Alrighty, bye-bye.